Okay, good. So yeah, so Kelly is our education lead in Chicago. She basically um, coordinates uh, teachers and resources to help try and bring these projects into the classroom. Um, and so she was going to talk to you a little bit about uh, what we do, but I've already covered that. So we're all these different citizen science projects from a range of different science disciplines, biology, etc. Um, this is the team, mostly. There's a few people missing off of here, but this is the team in Chicago and a bit of Oxford. So we're not very big. There's only about uh, 12 or 13 of us in total. It's not a huge team. Um, but out of that, um, uh, Natalie here, uh, Kelly here, Julie here, and Laura up here are kind of the people who do our education um, resources. And so uh, a lot of other people in here are developers like myself or scientists like myself. Um, but our education team has a background in science and doing education both in formal settings and classrooms, but also informal settings like, for example, outreach and public events. And so it's, it's a good team. Um, so why do we want to do Zooniverse in the classroom? Why should you guys want to do Zooniverse in the classroom? Well, there's a couple of different reasons. The first is that we think it's an authentic scientific experience. Um, often when we teach science in the classroom, we're doing experiments that have been done a, a thousand times before where the answers are already known. Uh, we're doing simplified versions of experiments. Um, but with the Zooniverse, you're really looking at doing something real because we want to get real science out of it. So everything that people is, are doing are, is what scientists would be doing in a, in a real lab. And we think it gives an authentic um, understanding of what science is and what scientists do from day to day. Most people think that scientists are you know, playing around in labs with beakers and test tubes. And you know, Meg will attest that that's not true. We sit in front of computers a lot and analyze data a lot, which is less sexy, but also a lot more interesting and cool. Um, so we think that the Zooniverse in the classroom can be an authentic scientific experience. It's working with real data. This is not something that's made up. This is actual, genuine, real data from a telescope somewhere in the world. Um, and it's actually contributing to research. So the kids in the classroom, your kids, may help us make a discovery like the green peas that are completely new. And that's amazing. The fact that they have the opportunity to discover something completely new about the universe is, is a very, very cool thing. And last but not least, it's free. <laughs> all the resources that we build, all the resources that we make, are completely free for anybody to use. And we want as many people in the world to use them as possible. So there's a bunch of resources that I want to talk about, just let you guys know about. Um, the first one is a website called ZooTeach, which I'm not sure we've got translated yet, but we may try and do in the future. I'm not sure. Maybe in the next year or so, we may translate this. ZooTeach is a website that contains um, resources, um, so teaching resources, lesson plans, worksheets, um, uh, uh, different ways of interacting with websites. And if you go to the zooteach.org website, you can select what group, age group your kids are, and you can select what subject you're interested in. And it will give you some resources for running activities with those kids in the classroom. Um, I won't go over to this too much just now, because I'm not sure how much use it is. We're going to be rebuilding this and changing it a little bit in the next little while. Um, but the but this gives you a starting point to find interesting resources to contribute to these projects. The nice thing as well is that ZooTeach allows you guys to upload resources. So if you make a resource, like a lesson plan or a worksheet or something else like that, you can put it on this website and other teachers can come along and use it. So it's a way of contributing back to the, the project as well. So if you ever, if any of you guys make something really awesome or really wonderful um, about the Zooniverse, then please put it on the website here so that other people can take advantage of it and use it. So right now all those tweet guides are in English, but if you had something that was in you know, Chinese, we'd still love to have it yeah. there as well, I think. Great. So that's one thing, and, and the teacher resources and the lesson plans that you'll get today, those have, those are some of the ones that are up there for Galaxy Zoo and one for Planet 4. Those have been translated by Mayan into traditional characters. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we also have some very specific Galaxy Zoo resources. This is called the Navigator. This is a, a tool that we built um, specifically to be used in classrooms. And so in a few minutes, I'll, I'll demo this and show you how it works. But the idea here is not to teach kids about galaxies, but to teach kids about statistics, about how exactly the question we were asked before about how, what, how do you deal with 50% and 50%. Like, how do, you, how do we go about taking what people have said and building it up? And so we'll talk about that in a second. Um, which is pretty cool. 
We also have a program called Skype in the Classroom, where we, if, if you're interested, what we can do is we can um, get one of the scientists who work on one of our projects to Skype call into the classroom with your kids and answer questions and talk a bit about their science, talk a bit about the Zooniverse. Uh, so you could have somebody like Meg or somebody like uh, myself or some of the other scientists that work in the projects um, talking to your classroom, which is pretty good. And if you build that around using the websites and using the projects, then you get a lot of value out of then talking to the scientists. And as I said before, and I'll, I'll demo this a little bit, we've got tools.universe.org, which is the set of um, tools that you can use to, to really dive into the information. So here we can see these are galaxies from Galaxy Zoo, like this one here. This is showing where those galaxies are in the sky. Um, this is showing details of the galaxy, numbers about the galaxy's brightness, about where it is. And then this is plotting some of those properties on a graph. So this is quite advanced. And we actually build this not for classrooms, but for um, people who use the website who want to do more analysis to go on and do that. Um, but we think that they're friendly enough that you could get some, of, some older children to, to actually go on and do a, a project based upon the data using these tools online. Just um, to note, though, tools is currently only in English. Tools is currently only in English, yeah. So the navigator is in Chinese. And so if you want to kind of keep up with what we're doing, because we're, we're making new stuff all the time, the best thing to do is follow uh, ZooTeach on Twitter. Um, and that'll tell you when we're building new things. Um, and you can also get in touch with our education guys at education at zooniverse.org. And so